So I'm here with Abby and we are just loading our, well, starting to load up our kayaks and we are gonna head out to Phillip Edward Island area. We're not sure what island we're gonna go to yet. Um, but yeah, we're super excited and it's really hot. <laughs> so we've just left the Chick access point and now we are hoping to head out to the Fox Islands or nearby. Um, but yeah, it's super hot already and we can't wait to go swimming. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the mouth of the chick and it's like glass. So we're gonna do the crossover to Philip Edward Island and then hopefully continue paddling on and see what's available. There are so many seagulls and I feel like we're about to get pooped on. <laughs> Like <laughs> coffee. I was like, I was like, oh my god, what if her paddle doesn't float? <gasps> Got you. It floats. Cool. Don't worry. This is Sly Fox Island, and we are just across from West Fox Island but I think we're gonna call this one home for the next couple days. Uh, we don't see any people on it yet. We're still paddling around it because um, the campsite is on the other side, but we paddled about six kilometers. Yeah, there's only supposed to be one site on this one, so it'd be nice to have a more private site rather than some of the other islands have a couple, but it is Crown Land, so it's, you know, free for all. Let's get her. So we just docked up on a little pebble beach and this is like crazy cool and we're so excited so we've decided that Sly Fox will be our home for the next couple days. But this has got to be the easiest takeout, like no crazy rocks, it's just pebbles. Pebbles everywhere. <laughs> so we made it to Sly Fox and we're going to set up our camp. It is so pretty and we're excited to explore and the water's really clear and blue over here. Alrighty, so we've spotted, um, or spotted, we've chosen a really nice tent spot that fits both of our tents and it's just up there. I'm, yeah, it's up there. We also found a couple fire pits um but i think we're gonna choose the one that's just kind of closer down we might probably not even use the fire pit um we still have to double check if philip edward is a part of the fire ban but i don't think we're gonna have fires anyway but it's so nice and we can't wait to go swimming and look how blue the water is we used some rope to uh, put some water <laughs> in the bag and then tie it to a dry bag to sink the bag into the water to keep the drinks cold. Okay, so we improvised and put a rock in the bag so that it floats, or sinks. Success! <laughs> and then we're just gonna tie the rope somewhere, I guess. <laughs> That island is West Fox Island, and there's about three campsites, like actual sites on that one. Um, but we're on Sly Fox, and you can see Abby's stuff over there. That's where we've decided to put our um, tent. It says there's only supposed to be one site on this island, but you never know where other people are gonna camp, but we're gonna put our tents over here and then cook down by the water just to keep food smell away from the tents. But yeah, so that's our tent spot with a view. Lunch we have salami, crackers, cheese strings, and a view. We just finished 
just rinsing our clothes from this morning because we were super sweaty. And now we're gonna go for a swim and it's so nice and blue. And all we have left to do is make the clothesline, um, find somewhere to put our food from the bears at night, if there are bears, which I'm assuming there could be because of all the blueberries, and pull our kayaks in. Just going for that perfect Instagram photo. Oh, with the phone in the hand. <laughs> so we just swam from where Abby's standing all the way to this island right there. And it's pretty cool. I didn't think we would be able to make it. Well, like I did, but you know. So we've just gone for our, I think like fourth or fifth of the day already. It is so hot. And as soon as you get out, your hair is just drying immediately. And I think we're gonna go in for another one. <laughs> So what are we doing? Building rocks. <laughs> Building rocks. Nature's Lego. So I'm literally just eating cold honey garlic sausage and Abby's eating, I don't even know what that is. Pizza. Spinach pizza. Spinach pizza. <laughs> In crust. How's the water? So How many swims have we done today? It's so nice. It is so hot. I got woke up out of my tent at like 7.30 and I think Abby's just coming down now, but we're out on the rocks and our, like, our tents are, so it's super hot. As soon as that sun comes out, it's just, you gotta get out. <laughs> Anyways, I've come down here and I was gonna, well, I didn't, I tried setting up a tarp and there's just not enough trees really like down here and like, cause it's all raspberry cane, so. I was gonna set one up with on the rocks, like with two paddles, but it's just not working out. So I'm sitting under a tree in the shade. So hopefully I'll just follow the shade all day. I don't know, but I'm super, not super burnt, but it's just more so my back and my face is fine. I have like this oil stuff on it for sunburns just to like, cause it was super dry. So we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's about 9.30 now. Um, I've been up for like two hours. I cooked my breakfast. Abby got out of her tent by our tents up there and she jumped in um, on the other side of the island and I'm going to hop in just behind me now because it is seriously hot. I've just caked on the sunscreen, but I'm gonna have to reapply this like every hour. <laughs> so it's a good thing I brought a brand new big bottle because it's gonna be gone. So I've paddled about four kilometers so far. It's about six, um, but at least it's not super like rough out on the water yet. It's just kind of wavy, but not enough to um, be dangerous. So I forgot the SD card for my drone and I don't know when I'm gonna be out here again. So I thought it was worth the paddle back, especially since we have all of tomorrow too, um, but yeah. So I've made it back to our island and our total, well, my total paddling time was uh, just under two hours and it's about five and a half kilometers one way. So I just did 11. I can't do math right now, it's too hot. <laughs> but yeah, that's our island from another angle. So for lunch today, I have same thing as yesterday, salami, whatever that is. And then Abby has her jerky baby bell and crackers all lined up on her leg ready to go <laughs> and we're just sitting in the shade because it's super hot we just finished putting abby's back full of sunscreen and it's a natural sunscreen so that's why it's like that white color but it is super hot and we are staying protected <laughs> So now 
now that's West Fox over there and we're just kind of going around the whole island, I think. But yeah, it's a pretty cool view. bag of garbage and it's kind of gross and I guess like a reminder that you're supposed to be packing out your garbage. I know we're on Crown Land but I don't think that's an excuse. Now we've just come up along this other rock face along the front of the island now and there's these really cool big boulders and formations in the rock. I've got some sausages all fried up. Abby's got some hot dogs, veggie dogs, hot dogs, <laughs> and goldfish. So this is our water system. Um, so we've used an old Katadin, Katadin, I don't know how you say it, bag. And then we've used um, the previous tube a little cinch thing into a Sawyer squeeze. And I've had this for about three years now and it's still filtering. Actually, I think more than three years now and it's filtering water fine. And then like just comes out and then you put your water bottle like under there like that. And it's a good stream. But yeah, that's what we're using to um, filter our water out here. super hot out again today. Um, I have my only shade spot again by the water filter. And then I think we're gonna go for a swim, fly the drone and take some pictures today since it's our last day. But I mean, like it gets hot so early. <laughs> gonna fly the drone, see what's up there. Okay, so for those wondering about the white claw craze, I am not a, like I usually just drink like the Molson Canadian cold shots because they're five bucks for four and they're six percent and it's not like a lot, it's just small, right? But these are amazing. Um, you can't even taste the alcohol, which I guess is dangerous. <laughs> Dinner is more chicken finger things. Oh. Abby's got, I think, Baby Bell jerky again, right? And Mr. Noodles. And Mr. Noodles. And then I think we're just gonna eat whatever else is in our bags. How's that solar charger working? What's your phone at? 18%. Until when? Tomorrow. <laughs>
Okay, we got all of our stuff down here. It's literally 5.37. We're loading the kayaks and getting on with it. And the sky's pink and I think there's like a storm coming. So, we're going. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah, it's got more room. More room. Yeah. On the water, we're on our way home from Sly Fox Island. We had such a good time and the sun looks so pretty. I'm glad we got up this early. Halfway there, almost at a landmark before the chick crossing, so we're making really good time. It's still before seven. We're just, this is Philip Edward, and now we're making the crossover to the chick, which is straight in front of where my boat is. Um, and then we're back, and that was just under well, around an hour. We've been kind of leisurely paddling, but it's almost seven. Okay, we made it to the takeout. I think official takeout time is like 7, 18? I don't know. Anyways, it was like just over an hour yeah. and we're done. And it's super quiet at the Chicks, so we're gonna get going. We also wanted to say thanks to Clinic Outfitters for giving um, us the kayaks for this, trip. this week, this trip. Um, it was way easier just coming and already having a kayak ready. Yeah, super instead of like, service. Yeah, instead of like going and putting the racks in the car putting the kayaks like we literally just pulled up 10 minutes ago and we're leaving now because we don't have to do any of that stuff so yeah. thank you, thank you. <laughs>